So we have seen strength in the Hong Kong market over the past two to three months, right? Quite an impressive recovery for the Hang Seng Index and even some of those Chinese tech stocks that are listed on the Hong Kong exchange, right? So what is the outlook for the Hang Seng Index and many of those top popular Chinese tech stocks like Alibaba, Tencent, JD.com, for 2023 what is the outlook going forward are we looking at a pretty good reversal play or maybe even a bullish move as we begin 2023 hey guys joey here top tier my trader in philip securities and in today's video we're pretty much talking about the hang seng index we look at some of the top uh tech stocks chinese tech stocks listed in the hang seng index like alibaba tencent jd.com byd and xiaomi so these are pretty much the five stocks that i'll talk about after looking at the hang seng index all right so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end if you want to know what is the outlook for this top five stocks which i get asked quite often on make sure you stay all the way to the end we look at the charts i'll do a quick analysis all right let's go and talk about the hang seng index right now Okay, so this is the Hang Seng Index trading at about 22,500 right now, a very, very key level that I'll come to talk about that in a bit. But let's take a look at the outlook over the past one to two years. I think all of you would know that, you know, since like two years back uh, at the end of 2020, uh, there was this Chinese regulatory crackdown by the Chinese government. All right. And that's like, you know, putting a lot of downward pressure on many of those tech stocks and the Hang Seng Index got hit as well. And it was even before you know, talks about inflation and rate hikes at the end of 2021. It was even before that. So we have seen weakness, I would say, over the past one or two years for the entire Hang Seng Index uh, kind of like pushing down from a high about 30 over thousand to about like 15,000 16,000 and we saw quite a good recovery over the past one to two months right so that was pretty much a downtrend right for the Hang Seng Index right over here you can see that we were pretty much in a downtrend uh, right here you can see that the 20 this 100 days moving average the red line uh, have come like crossed down somewhere in the beginning or maybe yeah, somewhere around the mid of 2021 crossed down below the blue line the 200 days moving average and it was pretty much a downtrend we can also draw what we call a downward sloping i would say channel resistance line right here connecting the highs right over here you can see right here we kind of like touch about one time uh two time three times over the past two years so Hang Seng index the hong kong market has been in a downtrend since i would say the beginning of 2021 right but somewhere around here right one or two months back finally you can see that we broke up above this downward sloping channel resistance line so there's a sign of strength right there's a sign of strength coming back and it's where uh, we started to see some strength coming back in the market due to two main reasons so let me just share with you the reasons why the market has rebounded over the past one two months i think the first reason would be uh the chinese government kind of like u-turning or abandoning its zero covid policy and that's where you know people are starting to travel the chinese economy is starting to get uh, pumped up again all right and that's, that's a very good sign i mean you can see billions of dollars are being pumped back into the chinese uh, economy funds are being pop back into china as well so that's a very very good catalyst right in terms of uh you know putting away zero covid policy that's been holding for the past two to three years that's the first thing the second reason would be the chinese government kind of like coming out over the past one to two months and saying that you know in terms of the regulatory crackdown of the chinese tech sector or the chinese stocks in the hong kong tech sector that's probably come to an end right it's more or less coming to an end and they're more or less done whatever they need to do and that's the reason why we are seeing strength in many of those chinese tech stocks like tencent and alibaba as well so you can see that we have rebounded quite a fair bit right from about eighteen thousand. let me just go ahead to remove this line so it's a little bit clearer all right so let me just remove this right around here and you can see that we are currently somewhere around that 22,500 level i think this level is very critical you can see that we have broke down this level let me just quickly draw it for you you can see this level was like pretty much the support level in 2020 2021 you can see a couple of touches here but when we broke down this 22,500 somewhere around uh, beginning of 2022 that's where the market started to sell off rebounded can be tested rebounded right here and so all the way back down right so that is the 22,500 whereby we are pretty much right here at this moment right it's about 22,500 plus but this is right here at that 22,500 so i think that you know right now there are actually some signs of the trend turning so as i mentioned right we have been in a downtrend for the hang seng index since like you know 2021 in fact even in 20 yeah 2021 right beginning of 2021 we've been pushing lower we broke certain support 
right here like the 27,000 the moving average has started to turn down like I mentioned so a bit of a downtrend but right now you can see that there are some signs of the uptrend starting to form look, look at the moving averages right here so this red and blue line all right the red line is 100 days moving average the blue line is a 200 days moving average you can see that both of them are not really pointing down right now i mean they were like pointing down all the way look at this down down since like 2021 2022 both pointing down 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 but over the past one month we are seeing signs of them flattening out that means they are kind of like stabilizing it's moving sideways and eventually what we want to see is that we want to see this red line this 100 days moving average so let me just draw it for you this red line right here what we want to see is that you know this red line starts to move upwards gradually right? it starts to move up move up move up right around here so let me just put it in red in color right over here so that is what we can see for this 100 days moving average right now you can see it's just slightly moving up that's a good sign i think if we can hold above uh, like the 21,000 or maybe the 20,000 eventually this red line will slowly start to move up that's a good thing all right that's a good sign of a trend starting to form then turn up and also this blue line right here starting to also point up eventually right here that's what we we'll look for if you're looking at a uptrend right in terms of the uptrend starting to take shape so when we when we see this red like the 100 days moving average crossing back above the the blue line right so, so let me just turn this to blue in color right here all right so yeah when we see this kind of like happen right here when the 100 days moving average have turned back above the blue line the 200 days moving average like what we saw here right we crossed below somewhere in 2021 it was down 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 and when this happens again that is where i would say that the uptrend for the entire market hong kong market the hang Seng index can start to take shape more firmly right that's where prices can start to hit higher so i think it looks quite good in the short term you know we saw quite a good rebound from here and in fact you know we, we broke this resistance at about that 20,000. 20,000 will be can we just remove all this line right here Right, so you can see that 20,000 would be what we call a psychological resistance level as well. All right, we've kind of like broke this level somewhere at the beginning of January and starting to push higher. All right, starting to push higher. Right now, we are 22,500. As I say, this 22,500 is key, right? Was the support resistance turned to, yeah, turned to like a support resistance as well, resistance, and now we are back there. So if we can, you know, break above that 22,500 and stay above, I think that would be a good sign for the entire market to push higher, maybe all the way to like 26 to that 27,000 level. That is the Hang Seng index, right? So it looks quite good, all right? So far, so good. We have staged a pretty good rebound. I think signs are looking at a positive 2023. The fact that, you know, this whole regulatory crackdown and the Chinese government kind of like abandoning zero COVID policy. These are all good catalysts to see uh, more bullishness into 2023 for the Hang Seng index. Okay, so these are the top five popular Chinese tech stocks that are listed in the Hong Kong exchange that I get asked quite often on. So the first one will be Alibaba. Tencent Holdings, JD.com, BYD Company, and also Xiaomi. So very quickly, I'll just go through this top popular five stocks, right? One by one, I'll give you a quick analysis on the chart. Maybe we look at the system to see what it says as well that I have. And some of the key levels that you want to take note of and the outlook for 2023, right? So let's just go on to Alibaba right now. So this is Alibaba. I've pretty much drawn the horizontal support and resistance level. You can see that we have been in a downtrend, right? Same thing like the Hang Seng Index, right? We sold off quite badly since like end of 2020. Downtrend right here. 100 days moving average went below the blue line, the 200 days moving average, like I mentioned for the Hang Seng Index. And we come like sort of, off, off, down, 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 until somewhere around end of 2022, we found this bottom right here, somewhere around that $60. And we have staged quite a good recovery, right? From 60, we consolidated a little bit, all right? And it went up, we broke the 80, and we are back to this 120, all right? 120 resistance level, all right? So in terms of the trend, right? Let's take a look at the moving averages again. You can see that the longer term moving average right here, they are both starting to flatten out, maybe even point up a little bit. But as I mentioned, when we see the red line, the 100 days moving average cross back above the blue line, the 200 days, Moving average, that is a better, that's a firmer sign of the uptrend uh, forming up more firmly and lead 2023 into a stronger uptrend reversal. Right? But right now, you can see it's still below, the red line is still below it, but I think there are indeed some signs of the reversal happening. Okay, so what is the key level you want to take note of for Alibaba? So you can see that in the short term, we did see a pretty good rally, right? From $80, you can see we broke this resistance, went up, 
$100 giveaway as well. And we are back to this 120. All right, 120 would be that key level you want to watch. You can see that since like 2022, at the beginning of 2022, we have touched about one, two, three, four, five. And now we are right here again. It's about $115 right now, which is below that 120, right? So 120 would be that very critical psychological level for Alibaba that you want to watch. I think that you know in the next one or two weeks or maybe next one or three weeks, if right, if we can break this 120 level, I think that would be a really good sign, all right, in terms of more upside coming back and we can potentially push up towards the next higher target at about the 150 level. If that happens, guys, if that happens, I think there's a very good sign that the uptrend can start to take shape more firmly. I think this red and blue line that I talk about will slowly start to U-turn back up, red might cross back above the blue, and the longer term trend will start to look good as well. But short term trend right now, you can see it's still pointing up, the green line is still pointing up, 120 is still the cap. If we break the 120, I think the short term, in terms of the short term upside, it can still continue further. All right, we can give it a bit more leeway to another 20 or 15 percent. All right, more upside, and then we might start to see some consolidation. All right, so this is Alibaba. Not too bad. Look, not too bad. There are definitely some signs of reversal starting to happen, but we need a bit more confirmation. All right, and that can come from breaking the 120 level. Okay, next one will be Tencent, right? Tencent, same thing, have been a downtrend since 2021, pushing lower. We found a pretty good bottom around the $200 psychological level and saw quite a good rebound back up. And right now, we are back to this 400 level, right? So 400 would be this really critical uh, resistance level. You can see what's the support level right here in 2021. We touched a couple of times and you can see we broke down. Traded up, down, up, down, tested a few times. So it was pretty much the support turned to a resistance level, right? And it is still the resistance level right now, right? So we have broke this $400 psychological level over the past one week, which is a good sign, which is a good sign, right? So the fact that you know, we, we kind of like broke the 400, which was like the support turned resistance, and now that we are above it, all right, this would now be the support levels. Let me just turn the 400 to a green line right here, all right? And that would be like the new support level for now. So anything above 400 for 10 cent holdings, I think it looks quite good. That's where the uptrend revolves. So it looks quite similar to like Alibaba and even the Hang Seng Index because you know, all of them are pretty much in tech sector. So same thing, I think if you can hold above that 400, upside maybe all the way to about 500 to 520. Why? Because you can see that was pretty much the resistance as well, all right? 500 to 520, somewhere around here, we saw selling coming back in. So that could be kind of like the upside for 2023 over the next one to two months, especially if we stay above that 400, right? So yeah, trend-wise, same thing. It looks the same. We are looking at a pretty good reversal, just starting to happen, right? The red line right here is starting to slope up, but we need a bit more confirmation. And hopefully that can come from staying above this new 400 psychological support level. Next stock, JD.com, one of those popular tech stocks as well. You can see that right here, we are trading at about 249 Hong Kong dollars right here. Same thing has been the downtrend, some signs of the longer term moving average flattening out and eventually pointing up hopefully, all right? But I think the key resistance level that you want to take note of would be around that 260, right? 260 to 280, you can see that is pretty much where we were kept since the beginning of last year. We kind of like touched a couple of times with this one, uh, two, three, all right, four, all right, and in fact, just like one or two weeks back, we touched the 260 and we came back down. So that level 260 to 280, I think that will pretty much be the cap as for the next one to two months. If you can go above that level, I think that will be signs of the uptrend starting to form. If that, if that happens, I think all the moving averages will start to point up and the uptrend can start to form up quite firmly as well, right? So just think about this level 260 to 280, that will be the key resistance zone, all right, for JD.com. Okay, so we've covered three stocks, Alibaba, Tencent, and JD.com. So let's move on to the final two popular one, which is BYD Company and Xiaomi, right? So let's go on to BYD first, right? So this is BYD right here, trading at about 243 Hong Kong dollars, all right, right here. And we are back to the 250, right? 250 resistance level, you can see there was pretty much that support. So you can see over the past like one to two years, it was pretty much a resistance level. We broke up, traded all the way to like 320, came back down, look at this right here, we broke back the support. We came all the way down, consolidated, and yeah, we did see quite a good move above the 200 psychological level. And that is now the range, right? From 200 to about 
250 right 200 to 250 so this resistance at 250 would be key right the fact that we are back near here again same like what we saw in 2022 we consolidated a little bit before breaking upwards so same thing we might actually consolidate a little bit below that 250 maybe we might see a bit of support near 220 to 200 as we consolidate and eventually if we do break that 250 that is where we can see more upside all the way to maybe 300 to 320 level which was the high we have seen over the past two years so right over here right over here that is pretty much the resistance level by heavy selling can come back again all right what, what about the trend right what about the trend in terms of the trend take a look at it right here you can see that this uh moving averages right yeah the, the red line is kind of like still stopping down blue line is flattening now so it's not really sold off that much compared to like alibaba and tencent they've sold off like you know, more than 30 40 50 percent but for byd it sold off a little bit but we found quite a good bottom pretty fast right since last year all right and so to see a bit of a rebound all right so there are some signs of the trend turning up as well in terms of the moving averages right look, look at this red line all right and the green line so the green line would be that 20 days moving average you can see right over here right so this 20 days moving average is pointing up right now and we've seen a crossover a bullish crossover back above that 100 days moving average so there's a sign of strength as well in the short term all right but as i say we need to get past the 250 resistance for more upside to happen so it's good maybe a healthy even to see a bit of consolidation maybe near 220 250 if that happens for a while and then we can attempt to break 250 again that would be a healthier uptrend before we start to push higher again okay sell me corporation stock code 1810 hong kong all right and we are at about 13 dollars and 36 cents right here so quite a good move a good reversal back we went above that 10 dollars psychological support level it was a support it became resistance we went back above and there are some signs of the trend starting to turn up as well right same thing here look at the 100 days moving average and the blue line the 200 days moving average blue line as well you can see both of them were pretty much pointing down 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 now same thing like alibaba and tencent they are kind of like flattening out hopefully starting to point up and that will be signs of the uptrend forming right but what is that key level that you want to take note of for xiaomi corporation i think that would be that 15 dollars right 15 dollars is very key i've already drawn this red line right here. i think that would be the major resistance level for now you know since last year we have touched about one two we neared it and now it seems like we are making our way back up again so we might kind of like hit towards that 15 dollars might see a bit of profit taking but just think of this level if we can break this level right we want to break that 15 dollars if we do see that move above 15 dollars i think potentially the upside can continue more all the way to like 20 dollars so let me just draw it for you right here from 15 all the way to 20 we can potentially see more upside and same thing right if we break the 15 dollars i think all these moving averages will start to turn up right the red line 100 days moving average will start to turn up the blue line will start to turn up as well and of course we see if we do see that red line crossing back above right the blue line right same thing like what we saw over here okay, look, look at this right here so this was before the rally in 2020 look, look at the red line and the the blue line right over here you can see that the red line, 100 days moving average here, was pretty much below it, right? It was a bit of a downtrend in 2019. And then when we saw this, the 100 days moving average crossing back above the blue line, that was the start of a very, very strong uptrend into 2020, 2021, as we started to push all the way up. So this is what could happen right here, right now, all right? If we can break the $15, I think eventually this will happen again, and we might see the uptrend form up as well. All right, so this is Xiaomi Corporation. Let's go back to all the stocks. So these are pretty much the five stocks. We look at the Hang Seng Index and these five stocks. So I hope you have a better idea of you know, what to take note of some of the key levels for these five stocks and the outlook for 2023. And guys, if you like this video, go ahead to give me a like and smash the subscribe button as well. That will really help out the channel. And thank you so much for doing that. So if you want to find a bit more on the entire strategy and all that, you can attend one of those free webinars that we have uh, running. All right, we'll be ready in the next one or two months. Make sure you're on my email list, right? You can hit the uh, link above or below this video. Download my free report account board as a client of mine in Philip Securities, whereby we do share some of those ideas much faster. So I'll just place the link below the video, click on it, come on board, join my email list, join, become a client of mine in Philip Securities, or just download my free report as well. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.